Chelyabinsk is a city of more than a million people. Its economic reputation rests on heavy industry, but it's just as well known for its thriving drug trade, and the work of UNICEF and its partners is focused on one of the highest HIV rates in the country. The consequences can be seen at this pediatric hospital. Since the epidemic began, more than 1,500 babies have been born to women living with the disease. Or at this daycare center, which gives parents the child care and support they need to be able to continue working and maintaining their families. When these kids first arrived, they couldn't hold a spoon properly, couldn't eat, couldn't converse. So it was really here they learned to walk, to talk, to eat. Isn't that right? Nobody is more familiar with the toll that AIDS has taken in Chelyabinsk than Sergei Evdaev. He's the director of COMPASS, a UNICEF-supported organization that ensures there are no gaps in the care of the children of the epidemic. Successful treatment begins in the pediatric ward. Of the almost 1,000 babies that have been admitted since 1998, fewer than 50 have been diagnosed HIV positive. Here, we can begin therapy in a timely fashion, before clinical evidence of infection. This means the baby doesn't get terribly sick. Across town, this daycare center provides another link in the chain of UNICEF's support. About half of the 50 children are HIV positive. Many of their parents are unable to care for them. I know these children well. Their mothers were my first patients at the AIDS center. They decided to become mothers, and now I know their children. Sergei Avdaev's personal touch with the children is backed by an extensive network of support at every level of society. It has brought together uh, municipal authorities, national governments, different sectors of government, social services, health services, etc., together with civil society organizations, people living with AIDS, and it's a real joint project where UNICEF, together with other partners, is implementing change. Reaching at-risk young people is a crucial part of Compass's work. Sergei Avdaev trains teachers, healthcare and social workers, and Compass's street outreach program provides counseling, HIV testing, free condoms and syringes. Our goals are the prevention of HIV infection among teens and youth, providing psychological support for people affected by HIV, and increasing AIDS activism among people affected by HIV. COMPASS is one example of several successful HIV programs in the region. It has made Chelyabinsk a model for integrated HIV AIDS treatment and strengthened the Russian response to HIV. The project is already starting to have other sites that are trying to replicate the idea, but one of the big achievements of the project is not only in the fact that it helped uh, train staff, several hundred staff, that it helped uh, bring together health services, social protection services and others to talk to each other. One of the great th things the project achieves is change the attitude towards people living with HIV. Because of the work of UNICEF and its partners, this pediatric hospital is able to help new mothers with the challenges of living with HIV. This baby was born severely underweight, but is now able to go home and will continue to receive help from Compass. With your support, UNICEF can build on and extend the successful work of Compass in the prevention of HIV and support more families living with the disease.